A man using his dog to attack an unsuspecting victim while at an ATM. Fort Lauderdale police are now asking for your help to find him. This happened last month in broad daylight. The attack raises the question, how do you protect yourself when withdrawing money from an ATM? CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn joins us with some things you can do. The victim is at the ATM where he is attempting to make a withdrawal of money. Um, as he's in the process of that, of making that withdrawal, he is aggressively approached by a suspect that you see exit out of a white vehicle. Watch closely as what police say was a brutal attempted robbery unfolds back on March 2nd, just after the bank closed at 4.07 p.m. A 60-year-old man at this ATM machine was attacked. At that point, you see the suspect punch the victim. The victim falls to the floor or to the ground where the suspect then punches him in approximately 13 more times and also uh, uh, orders his dog to attack the victim. Detectives say the dog is considered a deadly weapon in this case. Not many robberies may involve a dog attack, but ATM robberies are not uncommon. So I'm, uh, listen, I'm just watching you here and I know now you've gotten your cash, right? What do I have to do? And by the way, I don't have to rob you at the machine. I can rob you when you come here. Stuart Kaplan, a former FBI special agent, tells us there are tons of criminals looking for an easy target, and you may never know when you're being watched. Because I already know where you parked your car. I already know the direction that you're going to go. And thieves aren't just going to politely ask for your belongings. Kaplan says expect no some kind of use of wise. force. And so we don't want to ever put ourselves in that position where we feel vulnerable. There was no audio on the video of the conversation before the attack, but police say the suspect was quick to show aggression. And the money was actually not even taken out of the ATM. Money eventually went back into the machine. You're already in the process of doing your transaction. What's the worst thing that could happen? You walk away and you leave your money in the machine. Or you take a pause, you step away from the machine, and you let that person know that you've identified that person. Have your phone start dialing 911. If that person starts to advance towards you and you sense a threat, push call. You can also skip ATMs like this. We can, go into a, we can go into a supermarket now and buy a stick of gum and get a cash advance using our debit card. Take a look at the pictures again. These are the best photos police could share with us to catch the man and woman they're looking for. In Fort Lauderdale, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4.